Continuing on with the Roland Joffe box set, we have 1986, The Mission. Um, I was a little bit down, beat, crestfallen, upset, physically shaken by the killing fields. And I decided to cheer myself up by throwing on what was hopefully going to be a much more bright, enlightening and fun movie, The Mission, which turned out to be <laughs> equally destructive uh, and double down on that just horrible feeling that I had. Fire! In this movie we have uh, the 18th century, we have Jesuit priests trying to protect a South American village of Indians against the Portuguese and Spanish who just want to enslave everybody. Uh, pretty much that's, that's the, the basic plot of it. Um, we get uh, Robert De Niro as Rodrigo uh, Mendoza, who is a slaver to start with. Um, we see him do some things that kind of break him. He does something that is going to deeply haunt him and he has a change of life. He has that moment where he feels he needs to be punished, he's done something wrong uh, and he's going to spend his life making up for it. I see a man running away. And hiding from the world. I see a coward. Go on. We have Father Gabriel, played by Jeremy Irons, a Jesuit priest who has set up this mission to help uh, the South American Indians, and he takes uh, Rodrigo with him uh, to help out to see if he is going to make amends for all that he has done. This is a man who has enslaved these people and now has decided to dedicate his life to help them out. And as we watch these people come together, we see uh, Rodrigo City find a new lease of life. As he starts to help these people, as he becomes part of the tribe, as he realises the past transgressions that he's did, we see Father Gabriel as he takes this man and tries to rehabilitate him and build this really solid community. And it's really engaging, it's interesting, and it's heartwarming, and you're watching all this wonderful thing happen. And of course, there is a crux to the story, and the crux is the church. The church kind of want to get rid of the Jesuits, or some people, some factions do. You've got the Portuguese and the Spanish fighting over the land, they want it. The church owns the stakehold to it, and they are trying to get it off the church. And um, we kind of find that Father Gabriel, Rodrigo, the Indians, the tribe are stuck in the middle of these warring factions and no matter who wins, they are going to lose. And it builds towards a climax that is exciting, thrilling, visually striking, ultimately um again just doubles down on that depressing feeling as you watch the, the horrors of humanity take hold um, and the complete disregard for life and amongst us. I really enjoyed the mission. I thought it was visually stunning from the waterfall sequence right at the start where we see Father Gabriel kind of scale these wet slate walls trying to get up to where the tribe are. As we see the sort of um, Spanish existence, we have Rodrigo who is part of that and ultimately turning his back on it. You've got these wonderful performances, you've got these landscape shots that are just breathtaking um, as they build the mission that's fantastic. The exciting war sequences at the end um, are, are just, well, thrilling, um, shocking and really had me on the edge of the seat. If you die with blood on your hands, Rodrigo, you betray everything we've done. You promised your life to God, and God is love. The downbeat ending is, of course, factually appropriate. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that unless you're rewriting history. And it's a movie that left me kind of destroyed yet again, emotionally looking at this, because you're, you're following characters, and Joffe has this way of really letting you see the best of the characters as well as the worst. So you see the duality in them. Not everybody is either good or bad. They have that constant changing ethos that drives them, moving 
from a, a bad person and, and changing into good uh, and knowing when to to shake that mould and just being steadfast, uh, fighting for rights, holding your religious ways and how that can ultimately lead to your downfall as well. It's the political angle that really kind of leads to all the ickiness as you have the church, you have the Portuguese and the Spanish and uh, as they start to manipulate and change the situations just because of self-gain. Uh, the mission was, yeah, really good. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it had some amazing performances. I thought the cinematography was absolutely stunning. Those landscapes, the, the locations that they have are beautiful. Uh, and the, some of the sequences are just jaw-dropping. Um, particularly I like when they bring a, 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 a priest who's making the decision whether the mission stays or goes and all the, the, the Indians there are, are singing in such a beautiful, melodic way. Uh, yeah, the mission. Another great film, this sets off to a flyer of a start, two for two here, amazing movies, Killing Fields is still my, can I say, favourite, uh, you know, a movie that destroys you as much as that does, I did enjoy it. I would love to know your thoughts on the mission, whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle, whether you had something that you just didn't like about it, let me know in the comment box below, we can have a discussion about this one. There is more content up here, if you want to see more of my stuff, don't forget to hit this video with a like, because it really helps the channel. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program, manvfilm.com, always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.